If I had not had any of the regenerative medicine stem cell-based treatments, I don't think I would be walking. I think I uh, would be like many people, titanium ankles, titanium knees, titanium uh, hips, and titanium shoulders. The more I walked, the more I noticed that my knees were painful. So I took some x-rays and the doctor said, I'm sorry, but you are uh, wearing out your cartilage and uh, you're the perfect candidate for a knee replacement. There was no decrease in inflammation, nor was there any uh, regrowing of cartilage in the knees. It was a very tough case because it wasn't a bone-on-bone -bone situation. There were literally no meniscus anymore. There were huge effusions in the knee joint. If you look at the before image in the blue circle, you see this white spot, which indicates a missing blood supply. This is a bone cyst. This is creating pain. If you look at the green circle, this is a torn overload meniscus. It's pushed out of the joint. And in the yellow circle, you only see a white area, which is indication of inflammation and no good tissue or healthy tissue around. When we add stem cells, we lower the inflammation. We take away the pain and we take it away in a way medication, drugs, non-steroids never ever can do it. The stem cells can come in and heal the soft tissue like the meniscus and the cartilage. And if we give it IV, it also heals from inside by the bone. I would say within two weeks, I was uh, walking normally a block. And uh, three months after that, I went uh, to the U.S. pheasant hunting. And I think we walked five or six miles and, and everything was fine. There was no, no pain. The result I saw 10 months later when he came back to see me again was astonishing. In the after image, in the blue circle, there is complete bone. The bone cyst is gone. It looks like normal bone. If you look on the green circle, the triangle, which indicates the meniscus, is much stronger. And in the yellow circle, the white disappeared. It's a smooth lining, so the inflammation has gone and it has been replaced by some tissue, most probably cartilage. If I would have told this on an orthopedic convention until that point, no one would believe it. They would say meniscus can't grow back. Regenerative medicine really brings such excitement to the public because the potential now to recover or restore function is possible. And before it was limiting damage, now it's about recovering or repairing injury. I think it's because Ed is, um, is tall and he is a very active person. The fusion did not really heal, so it didn't become stable. He said he could fix the entire thing with stem cells if I were put, putting the right orthotics underneath it to hold it in position. We did this and the result has been the same as it was in the knee. In the before picture in the circle, you see two bones which are not connected to each other and there's a small gray black line showing that these are two separated pieces of bone. And if they touch each other, this creates pain and inflammation. In the after treatment picture in the circle, we see that in the lower part, the two bones are connected to each other and just a small piece is still missing for uh, the reunion. But in general, it became one bone block and therefore not creating any more pain. Within three months of that, I could walk with a bounce and I could run. I did that because my mother at age 75 began serious problems with recall. 
once I started having it, I decided to go ahead and do the treatment with mannitol and adipose tissue drab stem cells. So I took the treatment. I didn't experience anything for five weeks. But in the sixth week, I was sitting with my son and my daughter, and we were talking about various events in the past, five years ago, three years ago in Maine, we were here. And they could talk about an event and about the person who he looked like, and I could stay right with them on remembering the name. And so they're in their 50s and I'm 78, and I could be just as sharp as they were. It has been known for decades that something called parabiosis allows older animals to appear younger. If you take an old mouse and a young mouse and you sew them together so they develop a common blood supply, what's been observed is that the immune system of the older mouse becomes more active. We have now extended that to where we take stem cells from a young person and co-cultures them with stem cells from an old person or the patient. Over a week's time, the old stem cells become quote unquote restored. And when we deliver those old stem cells into humanized mice, what we learn is the immune system becomes more active. I had been waiting for five years to reach the point where we had proved that this would work in a humanized mice. And uh, we had proved that it was safe with hundreds of mice. And on December 15th, the Bahamian government approved the first five human patients, and I was patient number one. So the whole process took about an hour. And those cells were put inside my immune system, and the restoration began taking place. My belief is this is going to turn out to be a primary treatment for restoration of uh, the human immune system. And it's going to have a dramatic effect on our healthcare system. And it's one way for us to solve the burgeoning healthcare cost, not only in the Western world, but all across the world, and make this available to the masses. My goal is always to be healthy and fit and playing tennis at age 120. And if we can do stem cell therapies and keep our body pain-free for a long period of time, we'll feel a lot better about exercising. And if we have that ability and that desire and are pain-free, uh, stem cell therapies can support you doing that.